Hello everyone and thank you for watching today. My name is Peter Wolf uh, and we are talking today about storing of green coffee both on-site and off-site. I guess we'll talk about on-site first. Key things with on-site is just thinking about you know the comfort level. So I, I always have the saying that if I'm comfortable in the space then the green coffee is going to also be locking the space. So coffee likes to be stored at a relative humidity of about 55% and if you can keep it at sort of ambient between sort of that 21 to 23 degrees Celsius it's, you know, it's a pretty good kind of stable environment. Now we all know that we don't have you know temperature controlled uh, factories or, um, and warehouses that uh, that we may be working in so you know we've got to then think about either creating a space um, that you can store your coffee in for that or making sure that you know um, you put your coffee in the best possible situation um, to to look after it so things like you know thinking about where the green coffee is stored next to the coffee roaster now I appreciate that it's it's very practical to have your bag stacked next to the coffee roaster particularly if you're sort of hand weighing out all of your um, you know your recipes and, and your dose weights and so this is practical but at the same time you know this lovely roaster that you have is this you know is this energy source and so what it does do is it can um, assist in sort of helping dry out your coffee so if you can create that little bit of separation as you can see behind me here uh, we have a storage system um, with silos and I have 12 silos here each one of those silos holds one and a half tons and so our roasting room is actually next door um, but we have have a, a, an air transfer system that obviously brings the green coffee into the roasting room so we have we have it stored separately and also on the glass behind me we have ultraviolet film on that as well to obviously hold back um, and deflect a lot of the UV light so that's um, some of the strategies for on-site. Also, I think, you know, just think also about pest management, making sure that um, you have both pest management here and also at your external storage, because we know obviously Mr. and Mrs. Mouse you know, particularly in winter time, like to find somewhere nice and warm to snuggle up into and start a family. So definitely making sure that sort of uh, rodents and, and other vermin are kind of kept out. Um, yeah, engaging a good pest company that gives you a, a proactive pest management plan is fairly important. Uh, also making sure that, you know, there's no water getting onto the coffee. It's stored in a well ventilated place and off the ground because we know it, you know, you may be in a situation where, uh, you know, you accidentally flood or or um, for whatever reason, um, or you know, you may be just drawing some moisture from the wall, from the rising damp or the floor, and then you can uh, uh, obviously water damage your coffee, which isn't very, very good. In terms of external storage, certain questions I would be asking would be, you know, um, how is it stored? How do you maintain the temperature logs? You know what temperature that you would like that we mentioned to you earlier what's your pest management plan but also then considering like when the coffee is delivered to you think about um, you know what truck is it being delivered to so if you're wanting temperature controlled storage making sure that you know what comes in comes in on that lorry and truck is you know not frozen fish or you know anything like that that's kind of going to sort of impact sort of the integrity of the green coffee um, and then also thinking about, you know, when you're unloading and even storing your coffee here, you know, what, what other aromas um, that may be present. So things like, um, you know, car exhaust uh, from the loading and trucks backing in and out of your loading bay, you know, we, that can, you know, permeate into the green coffee. I had one gentleman who does, uh, has a, a, a meat smoking business next door and they were finding obviously there were lots of issues coming with some of their green coffee that it was starting to pick up some of this sort of uh, smoke that was coming in. So there are these types of things that environment, other environmental considerations that one needs to consider. We do invest a lot of money in our green coffee and we want to make sure that we keep it in the best uh, light but yeah uh, thinking cleverly about some storage solutions whether it's silos and, you know smaller sort of uh, bins uh, and, and a light that you can decant into are certainly really valuable and smart sort of investments uh, in your green coffee. I'm Peter Wolf. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.